and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages, one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. got things on the way Jim who do you reckon is pivotal yeah Ivan Rakitic he's the kind of player who can really control the game from midfield he's got fantastic technique and passing ability and a, a pretty mean shot too Peter he's also a really useful defensive presence always alert to any opposition threats and and pretty adept at nipping them in the bud yes getting the best out of him will count for so much Lovely bit of skill. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Now it's Ocampos. Luke de Jong. Fernando. He's in! There is Suarez. Well, working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Out to the left it goes. And he's there to cut it out. And that has been cleared. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Ocampos and here's a big chance Good clearance and very necessary Murillo battles to win it back tries to get it forward quickly was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. And it's Luke de Jong. Or Campos. There's the delivery. Massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. And here's Nolito. Has a hit! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Rio. Dennis Suarez. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it.
Ajax has got rid of that. Lucas Ocampos. Now it's Luke de Jong. He's had a look. He's had a shot. Goal! Sevilla! And Sevilla score first. Really outwitted one on one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him, not in the slightest. Sevilla draw first blood here. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. This is promising. Alito plays it out to the wing. Towering header! Back of the net! What a great header, got plenty on that. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. Rio, Dennis Suarez desperately wants to get on the end of this. Now it's Aspas. Little doubt, that is a foul. A searching ball out wide. In by Dennis Suarez. Luc de Jong brings it forward. Lucas Ocampos floats one over. <laughs> Dennis Suarez set up one. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. Thiago Aspas at his razor-sharp best there. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch.
Celtic. And the half-time whistle goes. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. So we reached the halfway point. It was unmissable and it was irresistible. Forget about the analysis on this one, just enjoy it. And we are already promptly back underway. Sevilla don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. And here's Lucas Ocampos. Knocks it away. Now it's Aspas. He's got away. Going for goal! Oh, that is rather wayward. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Fernando. Forward it goes. Murillo gets into the right position to intercept. Hoists it forward. Acuna with the foul. And that's going to be a booking. Iago Aspas really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Lurio. Lucas Ocampos is the guilty party there. And no surprise, that's a booking. for a change in personnel so we have a double substitution going on here simply didn't do anything wrong, he was thwarted by brilliance. And it's Luc de Jong. And it's played forward. Munir. That's great strength on the ball. Suso. Well, it's obvious why they're still trailing. They're not enjoying enough possession. He still has a hit! Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. So all square and not for the first time. It's pulsating, it's absorbing and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Hoists it forward. Oh, 
Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Moore. And now the breakaway. And he's pulled him up for that challenge. This could spell real trouble. We know he has already been booked. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Well, he's asking for trouble, Peter. And with this urge to, to nibble away, I think the ref is spelling it out for him now. Asfas! Sevilla have got away with it this time, but I think if they carry on giving away free kicks in positions like that, I think they'll be made to pay. They've got to be very careful, just a little more discipline is called for. More. Oh, he's broken through. Here it is now, surely. Aspas. Timely intervention. Rakitic goes looking. Celta Vigo go in search of their winner. And that's been one straight back. Moore, he'll hit it. And somehow he managed to miss it. Moore fully appreciates that he could have won it then. And now he'll be all the keener not to lose it. Now it's Suso. And it's Luke de Jong. It's found its way to him. Luke de Jong, it's a loose ball. Good take and he's had a look. And here's Mo tries a shot! This could fall anywhere. Great leap! Oh, I just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. So here comes the substitution. So he's made sure that that won't get through. Vasquez. And it's Munir. Munir. What an adventurous run from a defender. Oh, he's in! Turns and goes back. Vasquez. Chance! And the ball's come out. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. And he's there to clear it. Back into the middle. Vasquez. It's Luke de Jong! Oh, that was no routine save. De Jong is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Pinged forward. 90 minutes up, we're into stoppage time. And it's Vasquez. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Forward it goes. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's that. So it's ended in a draw. Draft and graft and everything apart from a winning goal that never came. An intriguing contest and a result.